Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Hear that, darling? Sounds like the engine's wearing out. You think so? I hope we don't break down before we get to the vets. <laughs> Pointless, pathetic, incompetent. Get out and don't come back until you know how to heal animals, Vladimir. Get a grip on yourself and man up. You see that? Looks like the vet has been thrown out of his own clinic. Yay! New more annual checkups. What's happened, Doctor? <sighs> Val was right. I'm incapable, pointless, useless, a dead weight in this world, a shame to my profession. Don't say that! I am, I am, I hate my job. I'd never have become a vet if my mom hadn't forced me to. My big dream was to become a Tibetan flutist. Everything will be fine, Vladimir. Go on home and take- But this is my home. I haven't anywhere else to go. Mommy! <laughs> We'll take care of you, you'll see. In a few days, you'll be raring to go again. Come and hang out with our lovable little fur balls for a while. I'm sure they'll put a smile back on your face. We gotta get out of here before that monster sees behind our disguise. We head back to the Living Stones once he's gone. Ready? One, two, three! <laughs> Look, they're so excited about showing you around the house, they jumped out before we parked. Okay, we're trapped. Keep your distance and make sure the vet does not see your zippers, okay? What kind of distance? I don't know. Two yards? Two and a half? Hmm? That's about 20, 25 sausages end to end, Sam. Or 250 sitting in a line. Let's go play with our darlings in the yard. You'll see, it'll cheer you up to no end. In you go, sweetie pies. Hi! Everybody run for cover! <laughs> uh, fluffy babies? I bet I scared them away. No, they're only playing hide and seek. Call for them, and they'll soon come running. Uh, uh Philadelphia! Not bad. He is named after a city, but not that one. The name's Washington. Oh, yeah. Uh, Paddington, uh, Pab, Lucy, uh, Zucchini. Uh, close. It's Washington, Sam, Susie, and Eugenie. Oh, yeah. Uh, Washington, Sam, Eugenie, Susie. It's a trap. Yeah. Don't move! Oh. They probably didn't hear you. I haven't cleaned their ears out in over a month. Sweetie pies? Here they are. Look how pleased they are to see you. How about we all go play ball? They love playing ball. Uh, don't move, okay? Go on, throw. You go first. <laughs> see, they don't want to play with me. It's obvious. You have to throw the ball further. Look, like this. <laughs> I am so sorry. Are you okay? Can you hear me? <laughs> I want my mommy. How about we play vet, huh? You like that, playing vet? It's a game he's sure to win. It'll give his confidence a huge boost. Mr. Livingstone, you are a genius. Mm -hmm. I never want to hear anyone mention that job again. Never. I'm packing it in right this minute. That means we never have to worry about him again, Wash. That's what he wants us to think. But it's a trap. Mm. A trap to get us closer to him. On your guard. You can be proud of yourselves. Thanks to you, poor Vladimir has packed in his brilliant career as a vet. 
You should be ashamed of yourselves. I warn you, if you don't give him a big hug right this minute, you won't have any kibble. I'll give you five minutes. It's blackmail. Don't give into it. That's how it all starts. First, zero kibble. Then, you gotta sleep outside. Finally, you wind up at the dog pound, or worse, back in the forest. Hmm. Okay, Sam, go give the vet a big hug. Why me? Because, uh, go on, I'll explain later. Okay, but don't forget this time, all right? Or else I'll get to thinking you're taking me for a ride. Hmm. TV is better with pictures, don't you think? Say, I'm gonna show you my favorite program. Uh, so stop! Look! It's Imatan Tabakuk, the famous Tibetan flute player. Listen to that. What talent, what beauty. Absolutely, it's remarkable, sublime. Soon it's time for my favorite Shh. Uh. Huh. Meow. Sam, give him a hug. Jump on his lap, quick. Or goodbye, kibble forever. <laughs> Ah, a cat! Disgusting! It'll give me fleas! Get out of... Uh. Oh, what soft fur! Oh, it feels like acrylic! Fake acrylic fur! See that, honey? Vladimir's got his smile back. So what? Hmm? Because of him, I can't even watch my favorite program! Come on, the main thing is he's perked up a little. And with Sam, he's sure to soon start feeling better and better. <laughs> Don't worry, Sam. I'll make you another one. <laughs> What's gotten into you? That's our family photo album. <laughs> Hello, there are people waiting out here, and you've been in there for hours. Okay, okay, it's all yours. Anyway, there's no more hot water left. <laughs> That Vladimir is really getting on my nerves. Come on, honey. We can't just throw him out. At least he's not sleeping in our bed, huh? Ah! Ah! He's gone too far. He has to go. It's time for him to go back to the clinic. You know he doesn't want to be a vet anymore. Well, I'm going to teach him the joy of curing sick animals. You'll see. What are you going to do? Our babies are in perfect health. Girls, wake Run! up! We have a situation! I was in the oven, and what I heard... What are you doing in the oven in the middle of the night? Well, after they've roasted chicken, I love licking the sides of the oven. Oh, boy. But hey, that's not the issue. I was in the oven, and I heard the living stones plotting in the kitchen. They want to put something in our kibble to make us sick, so that then the vet can make us better. Whatever you do, don't swallow a thing, okay? Sam, where are you going? I want something to eat. <sighs> Sleep makes you hungry. Sorry, Sam. Too long to explain. But from now on, you got to stop eating anything. What? Stop eating? <laughs> Sam! My little Sammy boy, answer me! Call the vet, quick! But you're the vet. I gave up that career, as you well know. And anyway, I threw away all my instruments. I picked them out of the trash can. Any other questions? Hmm, how does this work again? You put it on the heart. Not on your uh -oh. heart, Sam's heart. And you put the other end in your ears. No, <sighs> you've got to put those bits in your ears. It's pointless. I'll never manage. It's been so long since I gave up. It was only yesterday. That bed is pathetic. He's never going to cure Sam. The only thing that can cure him is to eat. Susie, let me remind you that the Living Stones have doctored all the food to make us sick. Are you sure about that? As sure as two plus two makes six. Four. <laughs> two plus two makes four, you jelly brain. The Living Stones haven't poisoned anything. Not the kibble, not the canned food, nothing, nada, zilch. I think they have. Can you tell me why you're all covered in red spots, Vic? Huh? Can you? It's makeup, knucklehead. The Living Stones want to make the vet think that I'm sick so then he can cure me, build up his self-confidence, and clear on out. This means we can give Sam something to eat. We could put him in a cast. Mm -hmm. That could work. Why? He hasn't broken anything. We'll have more luck with a medical encyclopedia. Let's see now, where are we? Camel? 
caribou. Ah, ha, here we are. Oh. I'm awake. You'll never believe it. I dreamt I was eating kibble. It was awesome. What a fascinating book, don't you think? If I'd known all this, I might have been a better vet. Meow, meow. Sam, I don't believe it. I cured him. I'm a genius of animal medicine. It's plain to see. How has the world managed without my talent for so long? I've made up my mind. I'm taking up my stethoscope again, and I'll base my clinic here. Here we'll put the waiting room, and here my treating room. It's gonna be cutting edge, high tech, state of the art. What do you think? How about you head back to your clinic instead? Oh. <laughs> Velma, it's me. I'm going back to work. Medicine needs me. Vladimir cured our cat without so much as touching him. It was phenomenal, exceptional. You must take him back. Mm -hmm. I know you'd get your old touch back, Vladimir. Welcome home. Incidentally, I believe you have an appointment for your adorable little animals. Oh, really? No, 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 just a routine checkup. Thank you, goodbye. <gasps> I think I've had enough of vets for one day. <laughs> That was close. Boy, am I ever happy he's out of the house. I got to kind of like him. No, I can't wait for the next appointment. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. confession to make. I love you. It's my favorite soap opera. Hey, you're not the only one here. And majority rules. Oh, it's always the same with you guys. And I'm already 138 episodes behind. 100% magnetic, totally invisible. The brand new magnetic zipper. The future is now. Zip, 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 zipper. Huh? Invisible? That's what we need! With those zippers, no one will ever know we're wearing costumes! My friends, welcome to the end of all our worries! Silly! What do we do with the real costumes? Toss them into the dumpster, cause the future is now! Super invisible! I even feel like this is my real fur! You? I can't get this unstuck! <laughs> the magnetic field created by the zippers is way too powerful! Uh -oh. Quick! Everyone outside! <laughs> Just in time. This is worse than super glue. If this continues, the neighbors are going to get suspicious. Magnetic zippers look pretty cool on TV, but in reality, they're just a bit... Too magnetic? Mm -hmm. 
right. Well, no use crying over zippers. Come on, let's go home. We'll put our old costumes back on. But Wash, our old costumes got thrown in the dumpster. <laughs> Uh-oh. Costumes. Washington, Sam, get me that chicken right this second. Mm, Mr. Red is not chicken. <laughs> but, but what in the? That's us. <laughs> <laughs> but, but how can we both be over there and in here at the same time? And with fried. Chicken? Yeah. Me? Me. Hey there, bros. You gotta let me some. Susie! <laughs> 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 not a dodo bird! Those voices, they ring a bell. <laughs> It's the raccoon gang! They took our costumes so they could pretend to be us! Yeah, well, we'll see about that! Give us back our costumes, you bunch of imposters! Imposters? <laughs> who are you kidding? Isn't it you who spends your time pretending to be household pets? Yeah, well, uh, still, those are our costumes, huh? And besides, I'm not a dodo bird! <laughs> That. There has to be four of us, otherwise those two humans are gonna catch on. Makes you look fat. <laughs> Go on, get lost. Go back to your forest, you losers. These are our costumes now, and that is our life. <laughs> <laughs> Disasters! And our reputation is shot! All that work we put into becoming perfect pets has just gone up in smoke! This time we're gunners! It's back to the forest! <laughs> no! No way are we gonna let them take over our lives! Yeah? They're gonna find out what we're really made of! Yeah! We're gonna show them I'm not a dodo bird! This time you've gone too far, raccoon! Hey, guys! I think these bozos didn't quite catch our drift. Yeah? Ah, you didn't hear what we said, is that it? Go, Go home! home! Huh? Our beloved little pets! They're being attacked by wild animals! Huh? Yeah! Huh? Go back to the forest, you nasty beasts! <laughs> right, okay. So, strong arm tactics don't work. We're gonna have to use cunning. Use what? Uh, our intelligence. Okay, so I've got an idea. We'll need Victoria. Are things better now, darlings? We're gonna let you get some rest now. Guys, I bet we really did scare them. <sighs> Do you seriously think we're going to let you choose channels? <sighs> Here? There? 
That's not us in the house. Well, then who is it? The raccoons. They stole our costumes. You've got to help us. Well, I'll be. I hadn't even noticed. And how is this my problem? Oh, even Victoria can't tell the difference between me and a dodo bird. Listen, Vic, I got a plan. And if you can help us, you can take control of the remote. Mm -hmm. I'm all ears. <laughs> hey, guys, you hadn't noticed? It's time. Time for what? Uh, bath time? Have you forgotten? It's the humans who wash us. The pets. <laughs> what? Come on, be brave, my friends. It'll be over quickly. And you'll see, my plan is going to work. And what's more, the Living Stones are real sticklers for hygiene. When you put up resistance, they pull out the Bath Robot Enforcer. <laughs> it's time, darlings! <laughs> oh, for dinner! What in the world has gotten into them? My heart is wavering. Oh, yeah. oh, come on. Only 137 more episodes. I have a confession to make. I love you. Oh. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the Living Stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Have a fortune at your feet? Yes, sirree, you've got one. Fortune! Huh? Fortune? Thanks to this incredible metal detector, if there's gold, silver, or precious jewelry buried in your garden, this detector will tell you about it in no time at all. Cutting edge technology, three day guarantee single cash payment with extra charge, this magnificent device will change your life. Change my life? Amazing! Everything I've dreamed of! I'll take it! <laughs> what is that incredible machine? Ugh, incredible or not, I don't like the look of it at all. Later, guys! <laughs> The battery for the remote control. It works! 
We've been looking for that battery for days. That machine is pure genius. I don't know how it works, but it sure looks fun. What in the world is that? A 50 cent coin! This, my dear, is a treasure detector. We are going to be rich! Amazing. Don't tell me you bought that piece of junk from the traveling salesman I saw in the street. But it was a real bargain. I'll go straight out into the yard and prove to you that this is not a piece of junk. A treasure detector. Well, I knew how to detect one thing. The best places in the yard to nap in the afternoon. <laughs> and three we jump. One, two, three! Yeah! Yeah! come on! Hmm. Uh huh? No. Oh, aha! Ah! Uh, it's like our yard is sitting on a treasure trove. Yeah. Hmm? Sam, get out of here! Hmm. Looks like there's no way I'm getting a peaceful afternoon nap today. This whole yard is crammed with treasure just waiting to be dug up. Oh, another treasure there! <laughs> Honey! Uh -huh. I told you, our lawn is brimming with treasure. Quick, I need something to dig with. You're on your own here. Aha! Hmm. See how excited he's become since he's got that treasure hunting gizmo? Incredible! Nah, the true scientist is only too familiar with the thrill of discovery. Yeah, and by some weird coincidence, it detects treasure wherever I decide to take a nap. <laughs> Can you believe that? Wait, you mean to say the detector always beeps wherever you're standing? Mm-hmm. <gasps> that is no reason to be pleased with yourself. If that detector always beeps near you, it must be because of your zipper. My zipper? Yes, think about it. The remote battery, the dime, that detector detects metal! <gasps> and your zipper is metal! Like Eugenie's, like Susie's, and like mine! <gasps> and so obviously it sets the detector off. We're done for! Yeah, you reckon? I know we are! We have no place here! So, what are we gonna do, Wash? Mm. I know, while there's still time, no. we've got to watch TV! We have to stop him digging! <laughs> yeah, but what for? If he discovers there's no treasure beneath where you're sitting, he will realize it was you setting the thing up! No! Right, here we go! Here's pretty good, isn't it? there. Hmm. That's impossible. Uh-oh! Quick, Sam! Follow me! <laughs> hmm? <laughs> oh, missed again! If only our zippers were made out of that weird stuff that makes that really loud sound when you pull on it. You mean Velcro. Okay, right. Don't panic. Must be some solution. Let's think. You sure? I'm thinking. thinking, thinking, thinking. <laughs> Sam, what are you doing? Sam! Water! What's up with him? I only asked him to think. Ouch. Bad idea. Okay, I'm off. I'll leave you to think in peace, huh? You okay, Sam? Sam! 
having kibble. Huh? What kibble? You, oh no, why did you wake me up, Wash? I just found a huge bag of kibble hidden in the yard using the detector. <laughs> there isn't any kibble in the yard, Sam. It was just a dream. <gasps> Sam, you are a genius! What? We're going to get a kibble detector? No! We're going to hide real treasure in the yard. That way, when Mr. Livingstone finds out, he'll leave us completely alone. Real treasure? Like what? Something very, very precious. Something people have to hide so that nobody finds it. <gasps> I think I have an idea, Wash. Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I need to change the batteries. Yeah. Ha! Hey, there you are, Sam. It's all right, he's gone. It's up to us now. Did you bring the treasure? Yeah, look at this. Acorns? What are we supposed to do with acorns? You wanted treasure, and you know this dash of acorns is a true treasure to me. It's taken me many months to collect it. Oh, Sam, we're not in the forest now. Humans don't care for them. They're just acorns, get it? We need real treasure, something shiny, some treasure so incredible, people would do anything to get their hands on it. We know where you can find treasure, real treasure. Duh. It's true, come on, we'll show you where it is. Shiny, like treasure. Ain't that right, Wash? Yeah, but what is it? I don't know, but the girls are right. That's the prettiest treasure I've ever seen. Right, no time to lose. We have to bury it before Mr. Livingstone gets back. <laughs> what are you doing? We're covering our tracks. But not now. First, we have to put the treasure in the hole and then fill the hole back in. Uh -oh. Uh, what? Uh oh. Ah. Huh? Ah! Aha! No. What's that bag you're hiding behind your back, Sam? Yeah. You haven't found my treasure, have you? Go on, show me, Sam. Oh, no! Sam? Sam, give that to me. You have stolen it from me. Hey! <laughs> Sam! <laughs> Huh? Uh. Yeah. <laughs> this way, Sam! Quick! <laughs> it's okay, Sam. Ha! Huh? Yeah. There they are! My pretty little treasure thieves! Uh. Everything's going to be fine, Sam. Just hand over the bag. Ah, now there's a good boy. Uh. Acorns and a cheese grater? Huh? And there's me thinking I found some real treasure. Darling! Mm. Mm. Ah, there you are. What's the matter? You were right, honey. I have found nothing but a pile of junk. Oh, wow! This is my Grandma Adelaide's cheese grater. I thought it was lost forever. Thanks. This is the best treasure you could ever find. <laughs> there we go. Now, nobody will find our treasure. Darling, huh? you haven't seen Grandma Adelaide's cheese grater, have you? It was on the kitchen table. Hang on, I'm on my way. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. 
Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Zip, zip. Goodbye, darlings. I'm going to miss you so much. Honey? We're only going on vacation for a few days, you know. But we were supposed to all go together, Mr. I forgot if animals were permitted at the yoga retreat. But I've stocked up on kibble and they have the yard to stretch and run around in. So I don't think we have anything to worry about. See you later, alligators. <laughs> and have a great vacation. What's a vacation? Think about it, Sam. If they're supposed to be great, then it's surely something to eat. Like candy they've hidden around the house. Yay! Vacations! Where did they hide the vacations? <sighs> Boy, you guys are dumb. <laughs> this is a vacation. Whoa! Check it out! Humans without their costumes on. Wash, do you think we could have a vacation too? Can they exist for animals too? Yes and no. Vacations are first and foremost meant for humans who work all year long. It's their rest period, if you like. And since us cats, we spend pretty much our whole lives resting, it's kind of like we're on a permanent vacation. Speaking of which, it's time for my nap. Ready? A nap without them around, the ideal vacation. Get it, get it, get it! Whoa. Just like a real dog! This, Eugenie, is the result of years of hard work 24-7. And sometimes, you know, I just get so tired. Hey, what if we went on vacation? Yeah. Didn't Vic just say that cats were always on vacation? Real cats, perhaps, but not you, Sam, nor me, nor any of us. We work just like humans by disguising ourselves and meowing and barking. We work hard as actors every single day. Of course, Wash is right. Yeah, we deserve vacations too. a real vacation, you have to leave home. Look. Wow! That makes me want to take off and fly, too! Oh, yeah! Why don't we go to a cool place like that? Without our costumes? Way too dangerous. Right, so whose turn is it on the ironing board? Nah, I'm staying put. It looks like too much work. Away from here! <laughs> oh. Look, Wash, it's vacation time. Everybody has left. The neighborhood is empty. All right. Okay, we'll go. Yeah! <sighs> Alone at last, and the TV all to myself. Since the actor Juan Carlos has gone on vacation, your favorite soap, Sentimental Hospital, will not be broadcast this week. What? No! <sighs> ah, walking around without any clothes. Awesome! What a great idea, taking a vacation. By the way, where are we going? We've got to find a super 
ever play a dream vacation, paradise on Earth. You've got an idea. Yeah, right. Not enough sand. Not enough water. Ah, no way. Reminds me too much of the forest. I found it! Follow me! Hey, what the heck are those bums doing on our turf? This is even better than my wildest dreams. All that's missing is a roast chicken. Ta-da! Ha-ha! <laughs> Good move, Sam. Savages. Yuck. Boy, talk about a dream vacation. Hey, this is our vacation spot. So get lost, you bunch of hicks. Hey, chill, guys. There's room here for all of us. We can get along like civilized animals, can't we? You? Civilized animals? Bunch of savages, more like. <laughs> <laughs> Listen up. This hey? is a vacation spot for city animals. So if you want a place to relax and vacation, mm. find something in your stinking forest. Oh. Oh. Go on, get lost. <laughs> Who do they think they are? We live in this city, too. And we were even here before them. Yes, so they're the ones who have to leave. Are you kidding? We're not gonna get chased out by a bunch of silly raccoons. I didn't want to resort to this, but since they're treating us like a bunch of savages, we're gonna show them what real savages are really like. <laughs> this place is ours, so get out! <laughs> Have you guys looked in a mirror? Oh, I'm so scared! <laughs> Oh, I just don't understand. Usually when we do that, it scares everyone to death. Maybe after having imitated household pets for so long, we've totally lost our touch with our wildness. Yeah, yeah, get lost! Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I'm really gonna lose my cool. Go back to your dunghill, you bunch of hicks. <laughs> <laughs> mm, that reminds me of the forest. <laughs> I just remembered what it was like to be a real savage! Well, 
know, life at the Living Stones is almost like a vacation, actually. I got a bit carried away. No hard feelings? Hurry up, Sam! Those guys are completely wacko. Bunch of savages! <laughs> Where are you? Too late. We're goners. Nick! I'm warning you now. The next time, you're on your own. Hurry up. They're coming <gasps> out. Ah, oh, there you are. You don't know how much I've missed you, my darlings. I couldn't really go on vacation without you guys. So we're all going to the beach together. <gasps> I just have to finish loading the car. Thanks, Vic. But, uh, say, is it like because you missed us so much that you saved us? Huh? Say what? What? Me? No way! Are you nuts? Really? Oh, that's so cute! Hug! Ah, I don't do hugs! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. In order to trick its numerous predators, certain insects blend in with their environment, such as the phasmid, which takes on the appearance of a stick. Ah! The stick has feet! Good thing the narrator just explained that it's an insect that disguises itself as a stick. Wow! He really is the king of disguise, then! Are you crazy? I'm the king of disguise! I don't know why it should be you. Susie and Eugenie are pretty awesome, too. <laughs> Well, duh! I taught them all they know! That's not true! Sam, who's the king of disguise? Wash or your darling little sister who loves you so much? Meeny, meeny, miny, mo, you will be the king of disguise! <laughs> <laughs> Don't bother looking. I have reached a level where I've almost become a real dog! Oh, one thing I'll say, you sure aren't the king of modesty. Come on, girls. Let's leave the king with his jester. <sighs> I am going to turn you girls into the queens of disguise. Ta-da! Wow! You are awesome when it comes to making authentic-looking disguises. The costume is nothing, actually. The most important thing is to try to embody your characters. Try barking. Woof! 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 Uh, Susie, let Eugenie handle the barking. Okay. <laughs> We're going to have a gas. Just you wait and see. If you are able to fool Wash and trick him into giving you his share of kibble, he'll have to admit that you guys are the queens of disguise. Uh. <laughs> They're coming. Balls in your court. Uh -huh. Is that box there yelping? <laughs> puppies? Oh, they're the cutest puppies I've ever seen. Boy, am I ever annoyed. You could have told me you had kids. I mean, how long have we known each other? Sam, I'm a fox. Foxes don't have puppies. I cannot be their father. Understand? But I understand how you might be confused after all. I am the king of disguise, so it's logical for you to see me as a real dog. So, what are your names? <laughs> Way to go, girls. Okay, so you, you're gonna be Napoleon, and you are Jean-Michel. <laughs> you are so awesome when it comes to choosing puppy names. Oh, and where do these darling creatures come from? These puppies are under my responsibility. Puppies? Are you sure they're puppies? <laughs> Very funny, Vic. I know a puppy when I see one, thank you! Washington found what cutie pies! But whose puppies are they? They're surely abandoned, and Wash has taken them under his wing. 
We're going to take great care of you, darlings. You must be starving. I'm going to take care of that on the double. Hello, yours are the little boys. Honey, don't you think we should talk about this new adoption before getting all carried away? Shh, not here, not in front of the puppies. Yeah, no, Napoleon. No, Jean-Michel. Those are for the adults. You've had your dinner. Sam, you're being heartless. They were abandoned. I bet they've had nothing to eat for days. Here, little guys, don't listen to him. He's selfish. I'm so happy the Livingstones are adopting you. Let me make some room for you in my basket. Sam, you stay with them. I'll just be a second. Maybe you should go hide your stuff, no? My stuff? What stuff? These little puppies seem so starved that you wouldn't want them finding a roast chicken under the sofa. Or in the bathroom closet now, would you? Yeah, mind looking after them for a sec? I'll be right back. We did it! Wash didn't notice a thing, and he gave you his portion of kibble. You two are Definitely the queens of disguise. Whee! And now, as soon as Wash comes back, you take off your costumes, okay? I can't wait to see their faces when they find out. Well, uh, I don't think so. We're gonna stay puppies. It's way cooler than being a canary or a rabbit. And besides, we get three times as much kibble. Uh, say what? Well, yeah. Somebody's gotta eat you, Ginny and Susie's kibble too. Uh, girls, it's great. You won. But now you're going to take off those costumes immediately. You're just jealous because we're the queens of disguise. For sure. And I bet you just want to pretend you're a dog like us. Listen, do whatever you want, but I will have warned you. Just you two wait and see who has the last laugh. You don't want your kibble? The puppies are going to grow up fast, and soon we won't have any more room in the house. I'd love to keep them, but really, we can't. You're right. But we can't just abandon them. We have to find them a family. I've heard that Mrs. Appleton wants to adopt a pet for her children. Gracie and Alfie? Are you sure? It's true. They are a bit weird, but that's just one more reason. I'm sure the contact with pets will help them straighten up. <laughs> I'm certain that my little darlings are going to care for them as if they were precious treasures. <laughs> Look what I brought you! Aren't they just adorable? No, we wanted a turtle. And you're giving us ugly puppies instead. So unfair! I'm sure you're going to adore them and just look in their eyes. You can tell they already love you. I don't believe it. I just don't believe it. Napoleon and Jean-Michel have disappeared. I warned you, Wash. A big brother must never let his little brothers or sisters out of his sight. Me, for example, I never take my eyes off Eugenie 24 hours a day. Oh, yeah? And where is Eugenie? Yeah. Well, she's, uh, uh, Eugenie? Uh, Eugenie! 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 Oh, she's disappeared! Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're the worst older brothers in the world! Stop! Napoleon and Jean Michel are Eugenie and Susie disguised as puppies. B -b -b what? It started as a joke to prove that you weren't the only one who was a master of disguise, Washington. But I have to admit, it got way out of hand. The girls are prisoners of Alfie and Gracie. But that's just awful. What are we going to do? What do you think we're going to do? We're going to free them. But to do that, Washington's going to have to dress up as a turtle. What? Are you joking? Hey, I thought you were the king of disguises. <laughs> uh, you're disguised as a turtle? Are you sure of that? Be patient while the King of Disguise lets his talent emerge. Look what I prepared for you, ugly puppy. 
a super dirt cake, and a bowl of pebble soup. Vroom, vroom, rub! Children don't eat puppies. At least I don't think they do. There's got to be some other explanation. There! They're in the toy box! Like the loving sister! Those little monsters! Come on, Alfie. We're going to get our super turtle to swim in the bathtub! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! She's floating! I want to see the turtle be a submarine. Yeah. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! What are we gonna do? Oh, the horror! The horror! All oh, that water! I'm sorry, I can't do anything! Cats hate water! Yeah, but like, uh, I'm a cat too, and uh, since that's a uh, water and all. Sam, they're not kittens. You can see full well they don't look like cats. What could they be, though? I'm sure I've seen them before. Those? Those are real puppies. I thought you knew how to recognize a puppy, Washington. Uh, uh, yeah, of course, I knew that. <laughs> but hey, look, it's TV. What you see is always distorted. It's hard to recognize things. And there's this glare, gets in my eyes, and I, 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 yeah, I... Yeah, right. Instead of being the king of disguise, you wouldn't be the king of bad faith by any chance, would you? Uh, 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 what? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Zip, zip. Mmm, oysters for breakfast. Now that's paradise. I don't get it. Where are all the trees that grow these delicious nuts? Say, you're right. I bet that Sam could find them in a blink. Do you think it was a good idea to leave them alone? I mean, a whole weekend's pretty long, isn't it? Don't worry, honey. Everything will be okay. As we speak, why, I bet they're fast asleep having sweet dreams. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? <laughs> I'm the Living Stone's new cat! <laughs> Listen to the voice of your conscience. The day you will have vanquished your fear is the day that Mitch shall no longer be a danger for you. It is only when you have surpassed your fear that you shall become a real cat. Because real cats are afraid of only one thing, water. But, but will, will you know, know how to find this jewel of feline courage deep inside you, little wild boy? <laughs> same nightmare, Sam? Every time we have to go see Mitch, it's the same story. Oh, is today the day? What was it he demanded from us this time to leave us alone? Oh, no! Not the TV! Oh, no! My best! Get the mail on the 
Ghost Best Friend. But that's way too dangerous. The Living Stones will surely find out. The last few times it was already risky enough. Crass, did I forget the chicken? Hmm. Say, honey, didn't there used to be a kitchen table? <sighs> Nothing better than a good bed for a good nap. Yeah. That's weird. I don't remember sleeping on the floor. If the TV disappears, then they'll surely know it was us and we'll be kicked out. We're simply not going to give them the TV. I have an infallible plan. I always <laughs> knew you were the best, Wash. So, what is it? Ta-da! <laughs> we, too, can blackmail Mitch. <laughs> we're going to tell him that if he keeps demanding things from us, we're going to embarrass him to death uh... by showing this totally ridiculous photo to everyone. Not bad, huh? It stinks! <laughs> It'll never work. <laughs> Just wait and see how awesome my plan is. Go for it, Wash. I'm totally with you. My thoughts are anyway. I'll stay here and watch over the TV. Can we come with you? You're way too young. <laughs> and that's why you haven't understood anything about my plan. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, is your film ever dumb. No, it's actually quite good. But you don't understand anything because you're too young. Boy, am I ever sick of hearing that. We're going to show them how we're not too young at all. <laughs> we're going to go play in the yard. See you later. <sighs> it's not a couple of silly little pine trees that are going to scare me. I used to live here in this forest. And in fact, I was kind of the king of the forest. <laughs> <laughs> That was close. Hi there, Washington. <laughs> Everything cool? Your friend went off to the forest alone, and you, you're stuffing your face in front of the TV? That's because I'm stressed out. In moments like this, the only right thing works to calm me down. They have to eat. So, where's my TV? It is, and will remain at the Living Stones. Your days of blackmail are over, Mitch. Ha-ha! What ha-ha? Well, if you continue threatening to replace us at the Living Stones, I'll circulate this photo amongst all the animals in the forest. And for you, it'll be Shame City. Why, you won't be able to leave your cave without being the laughing stock of the whole forest. So, what do you say? No, Wash, please! I beg you, don't do that! <laughs> The girls were right. This video is dumb. And besides, it reminds me of the forest. Boy, I hope Wash makes it out okay. Oh boy, oh boy, I'm starting to stress out again. Absolutely gotta get something to eat. No, oh, no, I'm stressing. I'm really stressing out. I'm stress... No, Sam, Wash is getting us rid of Mitch. With what he's doing for us, there's no way you can eat his kibble. Then again, isn't it Wash who always says that those who are absent always lose in the end? Rats, I'm still totally stressed out. I must not have eaten enough. But if I was blackmailing you, it was just so I could see my friends. Meaning? Well, you guys, my friends, if I hadn't done that, would you have ever come to visit me? Uh, no. Mitch, don't cry, because now that I'm here, we could, uh... Why don't we play Clever Fox, like we used to, remember? You would hide and I would look for you. You were the best in the whole forest at that game. That's true, I was pretty good. In fact, you never found me. Do you think you could this time? Don't worry about that. I'll count while you take off your costume and go hide. <gasps> what? Take off my costume? Well, yeah. Yes, you're not gonna play Clever Fox disguised as a dog. Hmm? You don't trust me, is that it? Go on then, leave! There's no point in playing if it's gonna be like that. No, I mean, of course I do. I'll do it, Mitch. Go on, <laughs> start counting. Same game, same rules. No caves and no foxholes. One, two... Well, she's been taking for a ride. Four, Can't you see that Mitch five, is putting on a nap? Six, seven, eight... Now, nine, what was it I did in the past to win Clever Fox every time? Ah, but of course, that's right. I always cheated. Oh, 
Don't tell me he's going to fall for it. <laughs> Mitchell never find me here. So, who's the cleverest? Girl, clever fox. Cheating as usual, are we? I warned you, Wash, that if you didn't bring me the TV, I would take your place at the Living Stones. <laughs> hey, where is it? I know he had a costume in here. Mitch will get his paws on Wash's costume, and it's thanks to us! Uh -huh. Is that right? See you later, loser! <gasps> Sam! Wash and the girls still haven't come home! What? Oh no, don't tell me that! I'm gonna start to stress! All is lost. Mitch is going to take over my place at the Living Stones, and I'm going to spend all eternity here in this dark cave, alone and abandoned by all. Thinking of your super girlfriend who would have loved to help you, but who you treated like dirt? Susie? Eugenie? You wouldn't by any chance have an idea for getting me out of here. Oh, no. We're too young, remember? We can't have Yes. Of course you can. And besides, that's not what I meant. It was just a figure of speech. <laughs> you know, kind of like when you say, um... Like when you say what? Uh, okay, okay. I'm sorry, girls. <laughs> Thanks, girls. So, shall we get my costume? Don't worry about it. I hid it so that Mitch will never find it. Must I remind you girls that I'm a fox after all? Clever is my middle name. Mitch's middle name, because he found your costume and he's already gone to the Living Stones with it. What? If the Living Stones think that Mitch is their dog, all is lost and I shall spend the rest of eternity in the forest, alone, in the rain, the wind, the... Oh, all right, let's go. Sam, go get me something to eat while I hug my little Vicky and watch my TV! No, oh, no, I was so stressed out that I ate everything! Here you are! Ah! You better find me something else while I finish this and make it snappy! Sam! Find him something to eat immediately! But there's nothing left! Somebody ate everything in the house! And in your costume? I know for a fact you always hide a chicken in your costume in case you get hungry. Yeah? No, no way, I swear! Uh, um, I'll go look in the oven! They didn't find anything! What? <laughs> well, if that's how it is, I'm gonna eat your friend's costume and take yours! And then I'll be the Living Stone's new cat! It's only when you have surpassed your fear that you shall become a real cat. The day you will have vanquished your fear is the day that Mitch shall no longer be a danger to you. And if you ever try blackmailing us again, it'll be me who comes to see you in the forest. Fearless Sam! Sam the cat! I'm sorry, so sorry, honestly. I'll never bother you again. How did you do that? Wow, you were like a, like a lion in there. You know, I'm a cat, and cats are afraid of only one thing, and that's, that's the forest. No, water, Sam. Cats are only afraid of water. But thanks, anyway. Ah! <sighs> Honey, I just dreamt that Sam was actually a bear disguised as a cat. Oysters always bring on strange nightmares when you eat them for breakfast. <laughs> You're right. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the Living Stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Is that?
that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey there, furballs. Meet Brigitte, your new companion. You must be very nice to her, understand? <sighs> I'm counting on each of you, all right? Honey, don't you think you're going a bit overboard? I'd like to remind you that this is my boss's pet, Sal. It's not my fault he asked me to look after her during the ham and bacon fair. My name is Brigitte. Victoria. Ooh, I just love your style. Me too. I just love my style. <laughs> I also love your sense of humor. Hey there, I'm Wash- I'm Sam. Pleased to meet you. You are as pretty as a garbage truck. Huh? <laughs> Say what? Ignore him, Brigitte. He's the most boorish cat I've ever met. Come on, I'll show you around the house. It's no palace, but it's comfy. Oh, by the way, just call me Vic. That's what my friends call me. Well, what? Did I see something wrong? Sam, a garbage truck is not a compliment. If you want her to like you, make her laugh. Girls love that. Really? Cool. Funny humor is my strong point. <sighs> Thanks, Wash. And this is the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one, huh? I don't think we have the same sense of humor. Are you okay, Brigitte? Yeah. Uh, let's go. What a dork. Sam, I told you to make her laugh, not to ridicule her. Well, what? When we see that joke on TV, everybody laughs. But not to impress a girl. Try offering her flowers. In Sentimental Hospital, Dr. Alessandro is always giving flowers to Veronica. <laughs> Because you think you know better than Dr. Alessandro? Veronica, I love you. Dr. Alessandro, I am not Veronica. I'm Angelica. <laughs> Here, Brigitte, this is for you. A present. Thank you, Sam, but a... <laughs> that too. Will you just get lost along with your flowers? Can't you see they make her sick? Go away, Sam. Why does it work with Dr. Alessandro and not with me? Yum, they're so delicious. <sighs> Boy, can he ever be a clumsy oaf. Yo, stop it, you're too hard on him. There's no way he could know I was allergic to flowers. <laughs> it was really super sweet of him. I mean, how cute was that? Yeah. What? You don't mean you like him. Well, it is the first time a cat has ever offered me flowers. Don't tell me you'd go out with him. Mm -hmm. No way, are you crazy? We're from two totally huh? different worlds. You don't mix cats and pigs. On the other hand, if he were a pig or a wild boar, who knows? Mm -hmm. Wash, she likes me, she likes me. Yeah. Sam, what are you doing? Can't you see? I'm taking off my costume so that Bridget will know that I'm a wild boar. What? Are you crazy? Do you want the living shows to send us back to the forest? Mind you that we left the forest because we couldn't take any more of it. And that's also why we wear costumes! In the forest, you can say farewell to Kibble, the sofa, and the TV. Maybe we could take the TV with us. And you could always watch your films on the Livingstones tablet, no? Listen up, Sam. Here's what I suggest. I take the Livingstones out for a walk, during which time you take off your costume and tell her everything. But be careful, not outside, huh? In the house. That way, we forget about the forest, you stay here, and everybody's happy. Okay, can we do that? Wash, you're the best! Okay, they're gone! Go! Why are you doing this? It's not Christmas. No, but it is super romantic. You just wait and see. Brigitte's gonna love it. Brigitte, you gotta come. Sam has a surprise for you. Ha ha, a 
another one of his great unfunny jokes, I bet. Forget it, Brigitte. Yo, why should I? Seven, Eugenie! If you get a bucket full of tomato sauce on the snout, whatever you do, don't come complaining to me. Ta-da! It's me, Sam! Uh -huh. 100% wild boar, 99% pure pork. Sam, is that you? It really is you! Mm -hmm. gonna pull it out from under me, are you? <laughs> no, of course not. 21 peace stops in half an hour, Wash? This is kind of worrisome. Hmm? Uh, my boss. Hello, sir. So, how's the ham and bacon fair going? What? N -n -n now? Uh, yes, I'm with her. Everything's fine. Mm -hmm. You wish to speak with her? <laughs> uh, but, 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 of course. <laughs> uh, say hi to Daddy, Brigitte. Oink, oink. Uh, what? Horse? No, she's doing perfectly well. Uh, I'm going into a tunnel. Uh, sorry, I can't hear you anymore. He's arriving at our house in three minutes. Quick, we've got to go home. Hurry up, Wash. <laughs> Angelica, I will love you for the rest of my life, and even after. Oh, Dr. Alessandro! <laughs> A wild boar! Go on, feed it! Scram, you wild beast, you! Get your paws off, Brigitte! <laughs> Brigitte! Come back here! No, my boss! We stole for time. Brigitte will come home. She's a show pig after all. Ah, <laughs> sir, what a pleasure to see you. In fact, Brigitte was just... Uh, taking a bath. In fact, I'm going to go back right now. We wanted her to be perfectly clean for you. Speed it up now. I'm in a hurry, Livingstone. Everything went well? <laughs> of course. Oh, I've never shown you my stamp collection, have I, boss? Just wait and see. It's quite unique. We've got to get stamp. Don't be scared. Having lived here myself, I can assure you that if you're extremely careful, the forest can be very charming. So this is your pretty little love nest? Well, in the forest, nests are usually for birds. We... I want to go home. Otherwise, I'm going to scream. Go home? But we can't. I don't even have my costume. Ah! Sam, Brigitte, great idea screaming. It would have taken us hours to find you otherwise. Here, isn't this what you are looking yeah. for? Thank you, Eugenie. Can we go home now? You betcha. And the sooner the better, because otherwise... Thing. Can I have a word with you, Sam? Mm -hmm. ah, sweetheart's little secrets. Okay, so listen, you and me, it's not going to work. So I suggest we take a break. A long break. Huh? In fact, a very, very, very long break. <laughs> awesome! I didn't dare ask you myself. Eh? Oh, what a nice little bath, huh, Brigitte? Let's scrub behind the ears. <laughs> there! Voila! I've been waiting for five hours now. That's enough. I want to see my Brigitte. It <laughs> 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 would be so much easier for you at the front door. Why do we absolutely have to go through the bathroom? Because I have to walk. I can't possibly show myself to my owner if I'm covered in mud, you bunch of wild ones. I want to see my Brigitte. 
Rishi! Livingstone, for a minute there, I thought you were hiding something from me. Oh, sir, that's not my style at all. Good riddance. I thought you two were friends. Not really. I always had problems with the animals she hung out with. <clears throat> you gonna be okay, Sam? You don't miss her too much? Miss who? <laughs> Good old Sam. A wild boar dressed up as a cat with the memory of a goldfish. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Cat who plugs kibble on TV. Not only, I've heard he's broken into the movies now, too. What? Why did he do that? I'd never leave a job where I get to eat as much kibble as I want all day long. Which reminds me, I'm hungry. I never go anywhere without Kitty Munch kibble. Woohoo! Meow! Meow! Want your Kitty Munch kibble, Sam? <laughs> Enroll your cat in the national audition to replace our Kitty Munch ambassador, Oscar, and you could win a year's supply of kibble. We could sign up Victoria. Meow, meow. You too, little Sammy. Want to sign up for the Kitty Munch audition? Mm -hmm. You really think he has any chance? Who knows? Looks like he likes the idea. An audition for Kitty Munch kibble? No way, not me. How vulgar. If only it was for Royal Kitty Pate. If you aren't interested in Kibblebick, will you let me win? No. You have no chance, Sam. You are not a real cat. Everyone will see that. Don't listen to her, Sam. You can do it. You've been doing your cat act 24-7 ever since we got here. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. And I'm going to help you. We're going to turn you into advertising's first ever boar cat. Okay? <laughs> Doing here. We're coming with you. We want to get Oscar's autograph. We brought a photo. You uh. this is an ad for kibbles. It's a job for cats, not goats. Hello. Meow. Victoria and Sam. Leave them with me. Good, Good luck, luck honey, honey buns. buns. See, See you later. later. Come along, you two. <laughs> yeah? You see that? Don't worry, Sam. You're the best. <laughs> Are you joking? Nobody is as good as me, whether they're the real deal or phony. Now, is everybody here? Can we stop the improvisations, please? First up, Melody. She's a knockout! No, no, no! Too wishy-washy. Next! Mm. Not bad. He stays. Not bad. I can never do as good Next. as him. Ah, let's get this over with. She stays for sure. Next! <laughs> no, I don't want to go. I'll never make it. Of course you will. Sam, let your inner cat shine and think of all the kibble waiting for you when you win. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> that guy's incredible, hilarious. We'll take him with Hans and Vic. The rest of you, on your way. <laughs> I know that Oscar's around here somewhere. I can feel it. I'll go take a look through there. But the window's open. Let me go. Taste test! Take it away! Eat your kibble. I love the fat funny cat. He's our guy. Take five, everybody. Then we roll. Here's the funny cat that won. Where is he? It's you, Sam. You won. Me? But I'm not fat. But I know I sure am funny. <laughs> This audition is a joke. At least I won't have to waste any more of my precious time. I don't believe it. They can't possibly prefer that bumpkin. He may be a bumpkin, but at least he's not a second-rate ham. You okay, Sam? You need a little uh, refreshment? Well done. Great job. So, who are you then? His coach. I train him. I look after him. But who's ever heard of a dog looking after a cat? Oh, I see you're new to the business. Hang around and you'll get to see a lot of it. Dogs taking care of cats. Here's the living proof. All right, I'll go fetch you something to drink. And if he starts asking questions, whatever you do, don't say a word. <laughs> so you've been acting for a while then. I have rarely met an actor as talented as you. <laughs> Look, Susie, there he is! Oscar! 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 Can I please just take one little second of your precious time? Mr. Oscar? <gasps> Look, you genie! Sam? Of course I have. In my dreams. He was riding this giant hot dog bareback. Anything else? <laughs> <laughs> we went playing around next door with Hans. He pushed me into a big vat of bubble gum. That guy's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> what in the world is that? <laughs> Go scrub up that fat feline right this minute. We have no time to lose. No way! If they start washing you, they'll find your zipper and blow our cover. Come on, Sam! Quick! Okay, I knew cats didn't like water, but I didn't think they hated it that much. Go, security! Get him back here as fast as you can! Otherwise, we'll have to do with that guy. Hmm. Security, we just lost our new kibble star. Can you do something? Okay, we'll, we'll take, take care of it. I told you that you and your pumpkin buddies would never make the grade. Oh, yeah? You sure? Because I don't know if you knew it, but the shoot's been postponed! <laughs> Oh no! Okay, well, we gotta switch camera. Take five, guys. Quick, take off your costume. <laughs> you supply a kibble up in smoke, and I was the winner. It's not fair. Where did they get to? There you go, clean as a whisker. Now we just have to get it dry. Go on, Sam. Another squeeze, and we're done. Sam, wash. Hurry along! If Sam gets back quickly, the roll is still his! <laughs> uh, boy! I knew you were just a silly bumpkin! Your days in advertising are over, sunshine! <laughs> What's going down? It's coming from there! <laughs> there! A boy with a doll! Stop! Stop! Still no sign of the funny cat? No, security's tied up. They say they're chasing down a wild boar. Shame. Too bad we'll have to care with the other guy. Look, it's him! It must be! It's him! Mr. Oscar, can I please just take one little second of your precious time? <gasps> he smiled at me! <laughs> Will you please sign an autograph for us? Of course. With pleasure. My fans will. Everything she needs. 
shield. I've got nothing to sign with. Follow me. We'll soon change that. <laughs> Solution. Don't worry, nobody will find us here. Sam? What? What are you doing here? Why are you taking your costume <laughs> off, Sam? <laughs> you have nothing to fear. <laughs> <laughs> when I started out as an actor, nobody wanted to hire me. Who'd want to work with a badger, I ask you? So to become a star, I decided to disguise myself as a cat. But shh, mom's the word. Security! Anyone in there? Isn't that the fat cat they told us to find? Come on, kitty cat, you're coming along with us. Yeah. Hey, wasn't that the dog who was hanging out with the boar? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hmm? Hmm. There you go, girls. Oh, thank you, Oscar. And cut! That's our boy, awesome. A million times better than that Z-list celebrity. I'll get you back for this. Can someone get rid of this one, please? Contact the space agency. I think they're looking for a cat to test out litter in space. Kitty Munch, the Campbell with Crunch. So, who's the big boar cat superstar in the room? <sighs> We have just learned that a cat has been sent into space to test a new form of clump and seal cat litter. Good luck, little hands. Enjoy the trip, space cat. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Let the pro show you how it's done. <laughs> Whoa! 37.8! No way! My turn, my turn! Move it, Rush! <laughs> so, so, what's my score? Sam, how do you expect us to know? You broke the scale! Yeah, that's too easy. As soon as I'm about to win, you always come up with an excuse that I lose. You were already doing that back in the forest. Lunch is ready. Mm -hmm. oh. Your kibble tastes super weird today, doesn't it? What, are you kidding? This is awesome as usual. So, little Sammy, you don't like your brand new kibble extra light? Yeah. With our new Kibble Extra and five vegetables and sawdust fiber, you'll be a skinny cat in just weeks. Nick, what do you say we trade Kibble, huh? Between us cats. Um, no. Okay, well then if that's how it's going to be, I guess I'll be seeing you guys later. Wash, Vic, the Living Stones. Nobody understands me. Luckily, you're here. You know, if I stay here, it's only because of you. In ancient Egypt, cats were the preferred pets of the pharaohs. Considered to be gods, cats were so adored and revered that they were protected yeah. by all Egyptians. And they lived in temples that were built in honor of Bestet, the Egyptian cat goddess of love. Bastet? The Egyptian cat goddess? Why don't we suggest playing tag with him? He loves that. I'm sure it'll lift his spirits. Sam! Sam! Oh, come on! Some people.
people are asleep around here. Besides, your friend has gone outside. Sam! Sam! Guys, he's here! Sam, what in the world are you doing? I'm leaving for Egypt. At least there, everybody will revere me. What does revere mean? That means that everyone will love me, and I'll be able to eat whatever I want, and not just a little bowl of extra light kibble. Sounds awesome. Is Egypt far? No idea, but it's worth a trip. In Egypt, everybody pampers cats. That's because my ancestor was a cat goddess. Pretty classy, huh? But Sam, you're not even a real cat. <laughs> Is he leaving for good? Of course not. He's leading us on. He's just doing it so we'll give him our kibble, because he doesn't like his new extra light kibble. Mm -hmm. I give him ten seconds before he changes his mind and comes home. <laughs> Farewell, and kiss my darling Timmy goodbye for me. <laughs> Gosh, are you really sure that Sam is taking us for a ride? Sam, stop! It's true we haven't been very nice to you, but if you stay, you won't regret it. I promise we'll take great care of you. As much as they do in Egypt? Way more! Okay, I'll stay a little bit longer, just to see. <laughs> really? For me? Of course! Me kibble as two kibble, amigo. <laughs> and what would you say to playing your all-time favorite game, Sam? Tag, Sam! Okay, but under one condition, we play Egyptian tag. Sam, if we play tag, we... Okay! All right, the rules are simple. I met you, see, but you guys have to be super duper nice to me. And if you manage that, I'll stay. Otherwise, I go to Egypt. Understand? Mmm, delicious. Hey, uh, come on, can we play some other game now? Wash, we just started. Come on, try a little harder. You promised to make Sam happy. No, how about taking me for a little ride to help me digest all this food? He was the greatest of cats who filled us with joy and glee. His ancestors, the Egyptians, considered him the height of feline beauty. The secret cat he was, he left even the dogs in the Left even the dogs and all. Are you serious? Yep, that's right, Alvarez. I saw it on TV. My ancestor was a goddess. A goddess? And what was her name? <laughs> it was the goddess Samses. And this is her descendant, Samses II. Glory be to Samses II, goddess of the heavens. Wash? Samsies the second wants to continue his royal stroll. Yeah, well, his majesty still has some paws. How about he gets some exercise? Oh, so I see. That's how you think cats are treated in Egypt, Wash? I can't take any more of this. If you want to leave, just go ahead. It'll give me a vacation. Yeah? You don't seriously think I would abandon my people because you're in a bad mood, do you? <laughs> I'm staying, Wash. Yeah! You decided to stop playing the clown for your buddy? What's his name again? Samsies 2. Numerous cats have been mummified in the pyramids. These mummies were meant to accompany the dead pharaohs during their final voyage. <laughs> Can you just imagine our Samsies 2 in a pyramid amongst all those mummies? <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think, oh great Samsies 2? No, it's a bit small. Should be way bigger, like in Egypt. Yeah, but we're not in Egypt, and you're not a cat, but a wild boar, so this will have to do. Me? A wild boar? Samsies, too, is in no way related to a disgusting creature. <laughs> I told him. Seriously, who does he think he is? Don't worry, Eugenie. We're gonna remind Sam who he really is. 
Do you know what mummies are, girls? Are you ready, girls? Bozo snoring. Enough already. You genie, Susie, get rid of that horrible mosquito. He's disturbing my precious sleep, will you? Me? A horrible mosquito? Samsies too. We are mummies sent by your ancestors, and we have been ordered to bring you back to the pyramid. Uh, thanks for the invite. I'm really tempted, you know, but uh, actually, I think I prefer staying here with my people. Yeah, well, no. Your ancestors are waiting for you in Egypt, so you gotta go now. Yeah? Are you sure about that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, just give me 30 seconds, okay? I gotta go get some kibble for the trip, and uh, be right back. Ah! Honey, did you hear all that ruckus? Honey, there's somebody in the living room. No, there isn't. It's just the animals having a little party. You really think so? They usually sleep like logs. And what if it was the same intruder who broke our bathroom scale? <sighs> Have mercy, please! This is all a big mistake! I'm just a friend of the Millwater Board! Not a sacred cat! Look! Ah. Ah. Honey, there's a wild boar and three mummies in the living room! Do you think that's who broke our bathroom scale? Of course not! You just had a nightmare, that's all! You think so? Sam, put your costume back on right this second or we'll be sent back to the forest. I don't care. I'd rather go back to the forest than find myself stuck inside a pyramid with you guys. Sorry, you'll never get me. Are you okay, Sam? Eugenie, Susie, you managed to get rid of the money? Sam, quick, put this on. You see, honey, I was right. They were just having fun with the toilet paper, that's all. Come on, guys. You can sleep in our room tonight. That way, there'll be no more fooling around. Yay! And I think that in Egypt, I would have had sausages for breakfast. Yeah, but you'd be with a bunch of mummies deep inside a pyramid and not here with us at the Living Stones. You're right. Things aren't that bad here after all. But... Extra light kibble! I can't believe it! The Living Stones made a mistake! Do you really think so? Sam? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the Living Stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Of course not. I just got back from the hairdresser. <laughs> Boy, that's funny, Sam. Have mercy. Please, not them. We've come to keep you company, Vic. And guess what? <laughs> Sam's got a super funny joke to tell you. So, there's this wild boar who goes into a supermarket don't and... Don't you guys have anything better to do? Like, I don't know, going to see if I'm not somewhere else? But how can you be somewhere else if you're here? 
Mrs. Livingstone, thank you so much for looking after my nephew while I'm at the dentist. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Here's a list of all of Donald's allergies. <laughs> oh, I just bet that you love cookies. Only if they're gluten-free and without peanuts or eggs. Huh? How about a glass of water, then? Is it filtered? Hmm. What a nice kid. Hello there, Donald. How are you today? Ah! A cat! A cat! I'm allergic! Ah, 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 Get rid of it now! Oh, right. Here it is. Allergic to cats. Sorry, Vic, but you can't stay here. Ah, <laughs> Only for a few hours, big girl. So, Vic, you got thrown out, did you? It was because of... <gasps> hey, Vic, look at my new hat. Do you like it? Funny, isn't it? Uh, actually, I just came outside to tell you that Donald was here, and he just loves big cats. You, yeah? Really? And what's more, he brought tons of cat candy for us. Yeah? For us? Yep. You better hurry up, Sam. There's not much left. Countdown. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, oh, super! What? <laughs> Finally, a cat that I'm not allergic to. This is the best day of my life. What does allergic mean? You're allergic when you come into contact with things that you can't stand. Like when I have to take a shower? No, no, more like things you eat or cat hair, for example. Yeah, but Sam isn't a real cat. Yeah. Precisely. Yeah, that's and that's great. why Donald yeah. isn't sneezing. And why his highness is allowed inside. We're going to have so much fun together. <laughs> it's kind of strange that Donald's not sneezing, isn't it? Yeah, but in the meantime, somebody's really happy. <laughs> <laughs> Cats have all the luck. Ah, come on, Vic. It's just for the day. And besides, the weather's great. You were saying? Woohoo! Let's go jump in the puddle! <laughs> hey, <so weird. laughs> You've got a big metal scar in your chest. I was operated on for appendicitis, too. Did yours hurt? Did you cry? Let me see. Everything cool? Uh, no, nothing's cool. You can't continue playing with him. Uh, why not? I like that group. Because he's going to figure out you're not a real cat. Come on now, follow me. Hey, I don't want to go outside. And besides, it's raining. Yeah, well, when you get sent back to the forest, you're going to have rain every day. <laughs> Together. It makes Donald so happy. It's my cat! Bad dog! <laughs> it's only for a few hours, Wash. Go on. Go. <laughs> Take a breath, Vic. Take a deep breath. Giddy up, horsey! Giddy up! Hit 
this keeps up, I'm gonna have to pull out the heavy artillery. Sam! Be nice, will you? is enough! Come on! Let's go play doctor! Stop, you mean bad doggy! You're gonna ruin my kid again! Ooh. Washington! Stop it, will you? You do that again, Wash. There will be no kibble for you tonight! <laughs> That's it. Decision's made. I'm going to find myself some new owner somewhere near a beach in the sunny south. We're gonna give you a checkup, Mr. Cat. Open your mouth wide and say, ah! <laughs> Open your mouth, cat! <laughs> Quick, Sam! Let's get a move on! <laughs> Donald, where are you? Your aunt is here. Time to go home. I want to stay with the big cat. Come on now, Donald. You know that's impossible. I want to keep him. I've never had a cat of my own. Actually, Sam could spend the rest of the day with Donald after all. It's right next door. Great idea. Donald, we'll let you keep Sam for the rest of the day. And after, you'll put him back in our yard, okay? <laughs> Run for your life! <laughs> Bad dog! Aha! Found you! Bunny, we'll find him. Whew, no one will ever find us in here. Hey there, I was here first. Victoria? What are you doing in here? What does it look like? I'm having tea. Really? Of course not. I'm in here because of that nasty little brat. How oh, I would just love to leap on him and give him the allergy of a lifetime. Hey, you've just given me a great idea, Vic. If Donald hugs a real cat, then he'll get a real allergy. Am I right or what? Except that he wants me, and I'm not a real cat. I'm a wild boar dressed up to look like a cat. Exactly. Not even in your dreams, Wash. There's no other way, Vic. I'd rather eat a bag of rotten kibble. Please. The answer is no. You can have the parasol all for yourself. <laughs> And the fan. And the fan. For the whole summer. For the whole summer. Hmm. Hey! I found him! Hmm. Weird. Uh. You're way lighter than you were earlier. <laughs> Must be all that exercise he's been getting with you. You big kitty cat. That's not safe. Not even Sam's meow! Hmm. It's true. He is much lighter. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, this is bad! I'm all wet! Everything's going to be okay, Donald. No! I'm going to catch a cold now! I'll get you a sweater right away. Uh, can you lend us a towel and a hair dryer? Get out of the costume, Vic! Hey, your paw! Hurry up! Hey. Uh. What a monster! I want to go home! What's his problem? Never seen a two-headed cat? <laughs> oh, come on, Vic. Give us a bit of the fan, huh? 
Sorry. A deal's a deal. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Livingstone. Do you mind if I leave my kids with you while I go do some shopping? No way. <laughs> 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 